Okay guys, I'm back. Welcome back to more Mario Party 5 bonus room. And uh, this video, and probably following video, is going to be covering Card Party. A uh, unique Mario Party 5 feature in that it doesn't appear in any other game. And honestly, I think it should, because this is actually kind of fun. It's uh, like you would expect a traditional board game to be like. It's, uh, it's a normal board game, but it's focused more on, you know, movement instead of, like, you know, going around getting coins and stars. Now, you are going to be trying to get uh, stars, but not coins. Coins doesn't play a factor at all, so I think that's kind of cool. Uh, for this, I'm going to be... I'll be Luigi, just because. Luigi's a cool guy. And... Those are the players. The uh, first thing you have to do in Card Party, though, is, of course, decide the turn order. So, you just randomly select a card. I'm going to select this one. Let's see what they gonna, they're going to pick. Oreo picks a card, and Yoshi picks a card. Now, I kind of, like, skipped through it, but um, you can also uh, decide on how long of a game you want to play. You can play a short game, a normal game, a long game, or the longest game. Uh, I'm going to do long because I tried to do a sample of this the other day, like just a normal playthrough that wasn't recorded, just so I could remember some of the stuff about this game. But um, I thought I went, like, uh, it didn't go on for long enough, I think, so I went ahead and just decided to, you know, do a long game instead. And then also, the next thing you have to do is choose your location. Uh, you can choose wherever you want to be, really. I think it really doesn't matter what side you are on because you can like still choose different sides. You can like go to the like a different side if you move the arrow buttons enough. But yeah, you basically just want to move your you know your icon around and see what would be a good advantageous location for you on the board. And then you start out just like a normal game where you roll the dice and you move. Now very quickly. Um, uh, I wish I could actually, you know, show you what the map looks like. Okay, here we go. Uh, there are three types of spaces. Uh, you have star spaces. These are where you'll get stars. Uh, you won't always only get one star whenever you hit these. Sometimes you'll get two stars. But sometimes you'll get Z stars, those stupid black stars, which actually are worth negative ones. So you can actually have, like, negative amount of stars at the end of the game. You want to avoid the Z stars, but you have no idea where they're going to be. So just be very careful. Uh, the mushroom spaces are item spaces. You can get some different items. I think there's only three or four items. Uh, two of them are mushrooms. Uh, one of the mushrooms allows you to roll two dice blocks. And the second mushroom allows you to, you know, like, uh, do a roulette to s select somebody who will only roll a dice block that only has three spaces on it. One, two, or three. And then there's also a warp pipe space as well. And then there's also happening spaces, which can do a variety of different things. Sometimes you can get Boo, who will steal stars from your opponents. Uh, sometimes you'll switch locations with other players. And then sometimes you'll get a space where you have to go back to start. So there's a, d a variety of different things you can get from happening spaces. But let's stop talking about that, and let's actually play the game. Now when you get on a space, you'll uncover it, and then you'll see which way you can go. Thankfully, this space opened up to the star, so I'm going to go ahead and get this star. Hopefully it's not a Z star. Whoa, it's two stars. Thank you. What a great start. In my practice run of this, I got like a two Z stars in the game, so I like lost really badly. And since the next star is down here, let's go ahead and just go down here. So yeah, I think Card Party is actually pretty cool. It's just that, you know, they haven't brought them back since this game. This is like one of the best things about Mario Party 5. And uh, they haven't even tried to at least attempt to bring it back in, you know, more recent games. Which is something I think they should consider doing, because this can be fun. I have some friends who actually kind of enjoyed this mode as well, because it wasn't about mini-games. And you know me, I used to... I usually, you know, destroy the competition when it comes to mini-games. My friends feel the same way, so that's why they, like, don't like playing Mario Party with me very much anymore. 
Although I don't think they really even liked Mario Party to begin with, so it wasn't like it was my fault, it was the game's fault for being, you know, kind of stale and repetitive. Well, it looks like uh, Wario also gets a star, but I'm still ahead because I got two stars. Which is nice. Uh, something else I should mention is... Um, the game will actually end once you get all not nine star spaces, so uh, that's the thing that decides whether or not the game ends. You don't get to choose, like, turns or number of turns or anything. But that really wouldn't be fair because eventually you'd run out of spaces anyway, so I think that kind of makes sense. And alright, I have my third star now. Wow, third star. And it looks like I'm going this way. Yoshi is probably going to go up so we can get that star. But first he's going to use his poison mushroom on someone. Wario. Haha, -ha, Wario, you got poisoned. And yes, Yoshi's going to go straight up to the star. Hopefully it's a Z star. Ah, uh, it's a normal star. One thing you can do is usually in every game there's about two or three Z stars. So what you can do is you can actually, you know, avoid the stars if you really want to. That's a like a good thing you can do to avoid them if you think one star is going to be a Z star. And yes, I'm going to call them Z stars from now on because I found it. I find it very difficult to call them what I used to call them, which are the stars. Like, trying to put an emphasis on the Z that's in front of the T and A and R. And, like, it just seems like a lot harder to say, so I think Z star is a good way to differentiate the two. Because it starts with a Z and not an S. Oh, there's the Super Mushroom. It allows you to roll two dice blocks instead of just one. Just like in the normal board games. In the normal Mario Party board games. So that's kind of cool. Okay, well I'm going to move this way. This is probably going to be a Z-Star. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is going to be a Z-Star. Because normally you don't get this lucky at the very beginning. Unless, like, you know, a Z-Star is going to play an effect somehow. Okay, let's see. Oh no, it's another star. Wow, I am that lucky this time. That's fine with me. I really don't care. At this rate, I might actually win now, so let's keep it up. And it's also nice that everybody has a star at this point, because if we do happen to run into uh, Boo or the Pink Boo, we can actually, you know, do something. In my practice run, uh, whenever somebody landed on the boo spaces, like, they didn't have any stars, so nothing would happen. This time, we can actually, you know, we can actually assume that something is going to happen. And, wow, he got, got blown away all the way over there. Daisy is probably going to go for both of these spaces. Oh no, she's going to go over here. And she's going to get a... Poison Mushroom in the process. Cursed Mushroom, whatever. And he's going to use his Mushroom now, which is probably a good move. I can see how that would be a good move. Whoa, double sixes. Okay, where are you going to... Okay, he's actually going to go for the happening space. Which is also a good move, because he could get Boo. Like there. There we go. He got Boo. Oh, and you use a roulette to determine who you're going to steal from, so hopefully it's not me. Okay, it's Yoshi. Not bad. Now, I think Pink Boo is a lot more dangerous, because with Pink Boo, 
Uh, you actually, you know, have the chance to, like, swap your stars, I think. I think that he just causes havoc over all the players and, like, even yourself. So, you actually want to avoid Pink Boo, if I remember correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and go up here to try to get a, you know, a mushroom, a super mushroom or something. Unless Yoshi tries to get it first. Although he has a happening space he can go for over there. That might be helpful for him. Yep, he's going for the happening space. Uh-oh, Pink Boo! Although nothing's gonna happen because he doesn't have any stars. 